Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I like to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. I like to give double Shalom, salutations, and honor to all the elders, bishops, and apostles of the Great Millstone. I like to give a double Shalom, double salutations, and double honors to the 144, okay? The hopeful elect, okay? And I'd like to give a shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there who believe in this knowledge, this truth, who search the scriptures diligently to find out what is required of them by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? Yahweh, being the true name of the Heavenly Father, which means he to be or he exists, okay? which the world ignorantly think that his name is God or Lord, okay? Then you have Yahweh Shai, right? The beloved heavenly son. And his name means he the savior or he the deliverer, okay? Which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay? Okay? This is your brother, Howard Shai, GMS St. Louis, back at you with another lesson in sincerity and truth and through the power and the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, I was on social media and I saw this video where this guy was, uh, he had a little folly going on. You know, ain't nothing wrong with a little folly. But, you know, um, we trying to wake up the elect of Israel, okay? You should know, right, that there's no such thing as a mixed child, okay? There's no such thing as a mixed child, okay? And that your nationality, your biblical nationality is important. Because it distinguish, it distinguishes who's who, okay? And honestly, and when you get down to the root, the root of things is actually love because you're not giving people false pretenses of what's to take place in the future, okay? You're letting the people know, okay? Whether they be heathen nations or whether they be Israelites, Okay, and we're going to get into that. Okay, but there's no such thing as a mixed child. Okay, there's no such thing as a mixed child. Okay, let's get into it. Okay. And, you know, and they replying to somebody and it says, is your daughter mixed WTF? Okay. Let's, let's, let's play the video. Is your daughter mixed? WTF. Yes, I am. Exclamation mark. No, you're not. Okay. You're not, you're not mixed. There's no such thing as being mixed. Okay. And the daddy here in the, in the front of the screen. Okay. He's a, a Jake. An Israelite, okay? Okay? He's a Jake. Okay? And, you know, hopefully one day he'll find out the truth of the matter and come back to his heritage, come back to his uh, comfort, okay? Come back to the gospel, okay? <laughs> to know his uh, true identity, and to break loose from the um, chains that bind us here in Babylon, okay? A.K.A. spiritually Sodom in Egypt, okay? Let's watch the video. So what happened is she came home and told her mama that she had to be nice to her for half of the day, for half of the day, because it's her month. So I guess they having a little folly 
on Black History, so-called Black History Month. Okay? There's no such thing as black. And there's no such thing as white. Okay? Okay? These are social constructs. Okay? White people didn't start calling themselves white until the early 1600s. Okay? Okay? White people didn't start calling themselves white to the early 1600s, okay? They were naming themselves after the land in which they were uh, lived in. And before that, they were known as biblically Edomites, okay? And all your other nations, okay, were named after their fathers, Okay? Okay, and that's your true biblical nationality. You're named after your father. Okay. Okay, from the time. Okay, so the the Bible. Okay, the scriptures is a history book. Okay. So if you go to Genesis, Genesis twenty five, when they talk about Jacob and Esau. Okay. Esau being the progenitor, okay, of of the so-called white race, and Jacob being the progenitor of the so-called um, uh, uh, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, okay. Without going too deep into the other, the other nations which are, are heathen nations, okay? Okay, so obviously this man is in a Gentile state of mind, okay? And being in a Gentile state of mind, meaning his, his, his thoughts and ways are disconnected from what the scriptures say and his identity, Okay? So he got a Gentile, he's an Israelite, but he has a Gentile state of mind, okay? His mind is not in accordance or in, in his mind is not according to what the scriptures say. He don't know his identity, okay? He identify with the names that uh, Esau Edom has given him, okay? And he's following after the doctrine of, of Esau because there's no such thing as mixed. Okay, let's finish watching the video and then we're going to get into some scriptures. Half her month. Yeah, I, I didn't say it. I only get half the month because I'm not full. But if I do the 12 hour plan, I get 12 hours of each day, which still equals to half of the month. Or I could just have like the first 15 day or probably not 15, probably less than that. Just like half, like literally half and get the full day. But I'd rather just do the 12 hour plan because like I can choose my 12 hours of me at school. So everyone has to be nice to me, which they are. So it doesn't even matter. See, that's a child that doesn't take race serious because she shouldn't. She understands that her color means nothing. And she should be able to laugh about it. She should be able to joke about it because it's funny if you are doing it the right way. Yeah, kind. So I don't know if this guy, you know, if he believe in the scriptures you know, he probably go to a Christian church or whatever the case may be. You know, I see uh, he lined up and everything. So, you know, he got his head shaven, you know. So he might or might not go to a church or whatever the case may be. But somebody's not telling him the truth. OK. And, you know, I hope and, and pray that uh, this brother, you know, uh, coming to the truth so he can get his family uh, get more clarity and guide his family to the right direction. Okay, let's get into the scriptures. What the scriptures have to say. Okay, because there's no such thing as a, as a, as a mixed child. Okay. Okay, let's go to the book of. We're gonna go to the Old Testament. So we're going to go to Numbers, right? Numbers one. Okay, in eighteen, and I like I said, I don't know if this man. Uh, believe or you know believe in in the heavenly father and the beloved heavenly son 
you know, and, you know, hopefully you'll see this video. OK. But this is proof to show that there's no such thing. OK. As a mixed child. OK. This is number one. In verse 18, it says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declare their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Okay. So all the children pedigrees were determined after their after their families by the house of their fathers. OK. So whatever your father was, you were. And in regards to the children of Israel, Israelites. So if. Let's just say. A Judite man. OK. And a Naphtali woman got together. Those children were Israelites, but they were Judites. OK. They were Israelites, but they were Judites. OK. OK, because their heritage, like it says. They declare their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So there's such no such thing as a mixed child. Okay? There's no such thing. Okay? Let's get some more. We're going to go to... Let's go to the book of Genesis. Um, so like you, bear with me. Okay. This is when uh This is when Jacob got his name changed to Israel. Okay? Um Salakia, please bear with me. So like you bear with me. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to find where um yes. Okay, so So like you. Okay, right, 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 right. Okay, I found it. Okay, so this is to show, to show and prove, right? This is when Jacob, right, after he got the blessing and 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 Esau was after him, right? Jacob went to his uncle's house, okay? which was his mother's brother, right? And worked for him, right? Uh, right, and it says, And Hamar, the father of Shechem, went out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out. To, wait a minute, no. Uh, da, 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 no, I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. So like you. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay, this one Jacob wrestles. So like you. Yeah. Oh man, I can't find it. Uh Salakia. 
Salakia, please bear me. Yeah, okay, I'm getting closer. Salakia, please bear with me. Okay, so, right, 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 okay. Let me, Salakia, I'm trying to get the page to turn. Okay, yeah, J here it is. Jacob meets Rachel, right? When Jacob went on his journey and came into the land of the people of the east, and he looked, and behold, a well in the field, and lo, there was three flocks of sheep lying by it. For out of that well it watered the flocks, and the great stone was upon the well's mouth. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this is when Jacob came and was looking for Laban, right? The son of Nahor, right? And he said, verse 6, and he said unto them, um, Is he well? And they said, He is well. And behold, Rachel, his daughter, cometh with uh, the sheep. And he said, Lo, uh, let me get, just, no, 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 no. I'm, uh, Okay, yeah, and it came to pass when Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother brother, that Jacob went near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flock of Laban's, his mother brother. And Jacob kissed Rachel and lifted up his voice and wept. And Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's brother and that he was Rebekah's son. And she ran and told her father. And it came to pass when Laban heard the tidings of Jacob, his older son, his, I'm sorry, Jacob, his sister's son, that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. And he told Laban all these things. And Laban said to him, surely thou art my bone and my flesh. And he abide with him the space of a month. And Laban said unto Jacob, Because thou art my brother, shouldest thou therefore serve me for not? Right? Tell me what shall thy wages be? And Laban had two daughters. The, nun, the name of the elder was Leah. Right? And the name of the younger was Rachel. Right? Leah was tender-eyed. But Rachel was beautiful and well favored. And Jacob loved Rachel and said, I will serve thee seven years for Rachel, thy younger daughter. And Laban said, it is better that I give her to thee than that I should give her to another man. Abide with me. So they agreed. But my point being is uh, Jacob was an Israelite. OK. And the daughter he wanted. Uh, um, uh, um, the daughter he wanted, Rachel. Right. She was a, a Syrian. OK. She was of another nation. OK. OK. So we're going to keep going. And Jacob said unto Laban, give me my wife for my days are fulfilled that I might go unto her. Right. So. You know, they had, you know, they got together. OK. Jump down to the 31st verse. And when the Lord Yahweh saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb. But Rachel was barren. And Leah conceived and bare a son and called his name Reuben, which was the first um, Israelite child. OK. OK, Jacob was an Israelite and Leah. Was a, a Syrian of a different nation, but the child came out to be an Israelite. OK. OK, so the pedigrees would determine after the houses of their father, Jacob was an Israelite. He wrestled the angel. He got his name changed, okay, to Israel. And he had his first child, okay? Reuben, 
Okay, and Leah conceived a bare son and called his name Reuben. For she said, surely the Lord Yahweh has looked upon my affliction. Now, therefore, my husband will love me. And she conceived again and bare a son and said, because the Lord Yahweh had heard that I was hated. He had therefore given me this son also. And she called his name Simeon, which was the second child of Jacob, which was an Israelite. OK, Leah and, and um, Leah and Rachel were both for Assyrian. But the children came out Israelites. And that's my point. OK, so there's no such thing as a, a, a mixed child. OK, and your heritage. OK. Who your who your father, it does matter. OK, let's get that. OK, we're going to go to the New Testament. OK. It does matter. OK. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with a little folly. OK, but within that. You have to have an understanding. Okay. 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 So, um, we're going to start at Romans 9, starting at the first verse. It says, Say the, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness. In the Holy Ghost, right? That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Okay? For I wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren. Okay? My kinsmen according to the flesh. Okay? So, this is Paul writing saying that, you know, he feel heavy in sorrow. Okay? For Israel. Okay? And wish that he could sacrifice his sacrifice himself as well, okay. Okay, for his for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, okay. So he only talking about people that look like him, who are Israelites, okay. And this is important because he he's showing separation. He's showing specifically, okay, who. The blessing go to just like Jacob and Esau, the blessing went to Jacob. OK, and so on and so forth down the line talked about in Matthew one. OK. Here, Paul is talking about the same bloodline who are Israelites who pertaineth the adoption. OK, the adoption. What is he talking about? You know, when Yahweh Shai redeemed us back to the heavenly father, Yahweh. OK, and the glory and the covenants, and the giving of the law, okay? And the service of God, power, and the promises. Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came. So it's also saying right there that the beloved heavenly son, Yahweh Shai, was also a so-called black man. OK. In whom, as concerning the flesh. Hamashiach came, who is who, who is over all. God power bless forever. Aman. Right. So the, the promises. The adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law and the service of God. Power. OK. Only pertains to who. Who are Israelites? So that is important. Okay. If you if you are Edomite and your heritage, like I say in all my lessons, if you are Edomite and your heritage only on your daddy's side goes black back to a so-called black Latino or Native American, okay, then you are an Israelite. If you are of another nation and you trace your heritage back on your daddy's side, hey, I don't know what to tell you. Okay? With that, I hope this lesson has been edifying. It's straight to the point. 
This is your brother, Howard Shah, GMS St. Louis. And until the next one, Kwam Yasha Allah. Okay? Stand up. Okay? Jerusalem. Stand up, uh, uh, Israel. Okay? And Shalom. Shalom.